Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Living Flavors with Sunita. So most of you requested me to do a what's in my handbag video. So the video is here for you. So come on, let's get started. And also most of you wanted me to update uh, on our home construction. So this is a very special video because this is the first video from my new home but it is not yet completed so we still have three more weeks for the completion. Also most of you are eagerly waiting to see the kitchen update so I will also show you the kitchen update at the end of this video so stay tuned till the end of this video or you can also skip to the end to watch my kitchen update. Come on let's get started. So this is my handbag and i bought this from max and the price of this bag is 1400 rupees i bought this before a month on my birthday so i'll show you what are all the things that i have in my handbag so here is a section uh, in which i have kept a pen and a paper if in case i want to write something important when i don't have my mobile phone handy i might use this but i very rarely use this i always use my mobile phone and the pen is from cello brand and if you can see there are multiple sections in this bag that is the reason for me to purchase this because it is very helpful for me and this is my office edition if in case i'm going out with my daughter this bag will be completely different it will be filled with my daughter's belongings so in this section i have my office id card and next to it i have my mobile so along with the mobile phone I always keep this headset so my my travel time to my office is around two hours up and down so I always listen to music watch videos in YouTube so that is the reason I carry my headset and I'll also show you this this is uh, quite interesting uh, I found this in my dad's shop you can find this in any fancy stores I guess but I'm not sure about this name so I use this to wrap my headset so that it doesn't get tangled um, because previously when I keep my headset just like that in my bag it gets tangled and so it would be very difficult for me to detangle it so this is helping me a lot so this is a small tip from my end then the next section in my bag has my water bottle so you can see this in most of my videos I always carry a water bottle with me even though I can fill water from my office I take I carry water with me uh, because if in case I feel thirsty when I travel in cab I used to drink I'll never be without water and the next thing I have here is my wallet uh, so the small tip that I would like to give here is uh, always carry some cash along with you because nowadays most of them carry only their ATM cards Please do not trust on ATM cards always, do carry some cash with you due, uh, during emergencies it might help you a lot. And in the next section here, this is the section uh, like where I carry almost all my eatables. So there is two box here now and this box is always with me which has some dry fruits in it. So whenever I feel hungry when I am working or something, to recharge me I eat this dry fruit uh, if in case. I am not in a position to move away from my workspace and if you ask me if I always eat something healthy definitely not my office drawer has something which is even unhealthy like biscuits and I always carry burpee with me there is a packet of burpee with me that is actually healthy but I do have biscuits with me and my favorite biscuits are hide and seek and dark fantasy which is always available in my office drawer and the next box has some mouth refresheners which is natural again uh, which has some cardamom and cloves um, I don't like chewing gums personally and I would suggest you not to eat chewing gum and I don't like cardamoms as well personally I don't like the flavor of this uh, but what I do is I eat the skin of this whenever I want some refreshment for my mouth I do de-seed this and then eat and I learned this from one of my office colleague um, and I like cloves actually when I get toothache I actually take this so I like the flavor of this so this is the mouth refreshener I use you can also take fennel seeds with you if you like because even that can do wonders and the next section is my favorite all my makeup products are available here so you can ask me why do I carry makeup products to my office uh, I'll tell you the reason most of the days I don't get ready from my home I go to office I refresh 
I go to office and then I refresh so that I can feel fresh the whole day. So the first thing is the comb and I bought this from Health and Glow and this as you all know this is my matrix serum and here is a pouch which I bought from Max again. So this is the pouch in which I carry all my makeup products. So I'll show you what are all the things that I carry. So the first thing is this orange gel from Good Vibes brand. So this is the orange gel that I'm using recently. Uh, I'm in love with this product because I should definitely tell this gives a glow to your skin. This is not a sponsored video. This is my third bottle I guess because the second bottle was taken by my sister when she came here. So this is the second bottle that I'm using. So this is in a gel consistency if you can see. So this definitely made a huge difference on my skin. So this is the gel that I'm using recently. And the next is my uh, moisturizer which is from Faces and I took this from my sister. And the next is uh, the sharpener which I use to sharpen my lip crayon. And the next is this headband or hairband. And the next one is uh, the mascara and eyeliner which is again from Faces brand. So I always uh, carry mascara and eyeliner because I love to do eye makeup and lipstick. This is the basic makeup that I do on regular, on daily basis. And the next is this NY Bay lipstick. So recent days I am in love with the red, maroon and uh, like pink shades. I am not sure why because I uh, like I feel that it suits my skin tone. So I will show you this shade. This is from NY Bay. The shade name is Feral Fabiana, shade number 24. It's in the maroon shade. And the next product is again a purple brand lipstick. So I'm yet to upload a video on the swatches of this purple lipstick. I'll definitely upload one soon. I have uploaded a video in my Tamil channel. If you haven't checked my Tamil channel, please do check it out. I'll upload the video in my English channel as well very soon. So this is again in the shade of some maroon, I guess. I'll show you the swatch. This is highly pigmented and it is very long lasting. And the shade name is my first bay, shade number 8. And the next one is this bump it, cute little bump it which always help, helps me in my hairstyle. Uh, I showed this in my previous video, one of my videos and you all wanted me to show this again. So I bought this uh, before 3 years, that is for my wedding from Amazon. So they were around 3 uh, bump it's available, smaller and bigger ones. So I'm using the smaller ones nowadays. It gives a good bump to your hair style. Do not back comb your hair would be my suggestion. And the next product that I have is this SQ eyeliner, I'm sorry, eye kajal. I use this for my eyeliner as well. Um, so this is highly pigmented again. I'm just showing you. Most of you would have seen this. But then just, uh, so again it is highly pigmented and it stays long. And I have few safety pins here. Always carry some safety pins with you because it will uh, definitely help you in some emergencies. And next I have some hair clips. Uh, I, I'll always have around 3 or 4 hair clips. Now I took it uh, out uh, for my hairstyle then I left it on the table. And the next product is this NY Bay Lip Crayon. So even this you would have seen in most of my videos. And this is in maroon shade again. And the shade number is 18, strike them out. And the last one in this pouch is this lipstick again. I love lipstick so I do definitely carry around 3 or 4 shades with me. And this is I Amsterdam and the shade, this is the shade that I am wearing now. And I will show you uh, the shade, it is again and it is on the purple end I guess not the exact purple, kind of maroon and purple. So these are the products that I carry in this pouch. And there is a section here in which I have 
a sanitary napkin which every girl must carry in their bag so keep one for emergency it might help you any time and and yeah and this is a small pouch in which uh, i have kept some money this is not mine this is my kids uh, my dad used to give her money when he was in duty when we were in thurai park when she was a small kid and he used to tell that this is my daughter's bank so i say uh, he used to put money in this pouch so i didn't feel like spending this so i always keep this in my bag so that i can give it to her when she grows up and if you ask me if my bag is always this organized yeah it is always this organized and sometimes it gets messy but i do clean it once a week so that i can maintain it a small tip for you to organize your bag very neat is um clean it once a week and throw all the uh, papers or unwanted products that you have inside your bag mostly when we go for shopping what we do is even i have been doing this i keep all the bills inside my wallet or inside the bag which gets accumulated and which makes our bag messy so once in a week take those bills away and check what are all the bills that you want and throw away the bills that you do not require anymore so that you can maintain your bag clutter free So this is all that I have inside my bag. Hope you all enjoyed this. And now come on, let's go to the kitchen and see uh, the update of the kitchen. So the kitchen work has been started. It's been one week since they have started the kitchen work. So the cabinet is all set. Um, so we are planning for an island kitchen. Uh, maybe you can get a idea when you see this. Um, so I'm really excited to uh, to see the outcome of this kitchen. and i know you would also be so so much excited um, so we are planning for a white matte finish kitchen with some veneer touch which is walnut brown color i guess um, so i'll also keep you updated on uh, the happenings maybe within a week or two and within the next two weeks the complete kitchen would be uh, finished and let's start our new videos from this kitchen with a great josh hope you all enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed this video do give a huge thumbs up and support me and do leave your suggestions and feedback in the comment section below and also leave what are all the products or the things that you carry in your handbag in the comments i would love to read them it would be a kind of interesting chat and see you guys again with another interesting video or another interesting recipe until then take care bye